right, we're back at the cabin again. How this time we're going to be finishing off the bunker. Mike's going to be painting that thing. We're going to do it camel. He painting, carpeting. Carpeting. Make this thing like a house. He brought up all kinds of different brown and tan paints, and we got green, and we're going to make a camel. We got sprayers with us. And it's a beautiful day. What is today? July 25th, 2019. All right, let's get started. We'll show you the work in progress. All right, we're attempting to take down this dead tree that should have been taken down before uh, the bunker was put up. So we're going to approach it in a couple different ways. We'll see what happens. Mike's painting the blind right now. The bunker. We got it green on all four sides that was wet over there, so he's just waiting for that side to dry a little bit. With water, so we can repaint that. That big tree came down like a ton of bricks. Old Betsy did the job. Tried to get the bucket truck up here, but something's going on with it. The fuel injection is just like lacking, is losing power for some reason. I don't know. It was running great when I put it away. Well, right now, we're making a roller here. The paint inside, we're going to do brown. And then once the green dries here, we're going to do brown and tan and make it camouflage. The swirls of green, or brown and uh, tan. We'll be back when it's done. We got the paintologist in here making the, the window frames, nice and green. Mikey's doing the outside, and now he's about to do the inside. Well, that was one old tree. If that would have fell on this, would have been scooshed. We'd be scooshed. Women work from sun to sun, but man's work is never done. <laughs> Coming up good. Let me clean this mess up. Remember that? From the other pictures? It used to be there. <laughs> Thing barely just fell over almost. Very dangerous. Wouldn't be long, that'd be down on top of this. Uh, Being made of aluminum styrofoam, I don't think I would have taken it very well. Did the whole thing with one gallon of paint. Unbelievable. I would have never the outside anyway. Alright. It's quitting time buddy. Farewell. Six o'clock. Actually, it's 6.30. 6.30. We'll go eat over Joe's house, making chicken cutlets. Yeah. I got some Italian uh, garlic bread. Nice. Bring it up there. See you tomorrow. All right, today's another day. We're setting up for painting inside. We got the outside yesterday. Very nice. Making a 
feeling a cream color. That just happened to be the paint we have. But the walls, I want a darker color so it doesn't reflect when animals look through the window. But I actually had a big bear here yesterday. About 250 pounds. Hope I don't meet him when I'm up there with my trail cameras and no weapons. All right, the whole place is carpeted now. Used carpet tiles left over from an old job I did oh, 20 years ago. It's all painted. Tomorrow we install the windows. Got my protege in training here. It's Mike on his first bulldozer ride. I think Mikey likes it. Mikey likes it. Give it to Mikey. Mikey will eat it. on my honeymoon. Ta-da! Those were long, long ago. <laughs> <coughs> Mike's loving this. First time he really got to work with the bulldozer. He's a quick study. What? You want to retie that so it straightens it out? down to Mike's. He just dropped off these two. And that big gigantic pine that was hanging over the bunker up there. He's got a fire pit right there. So he's gonna burn this up. And here comes Mike with the last piece.
just framed out and installed the door. Found it on the side of the road. Came with hinges and the side of the buck. We got a disco deck in here. Hey, disco deck. And now that all the work is done, the ceremonial pyre of the debris. Mike's still collecting wood. Fire! Fire! We fire. have made fire! We made big fire. Uh, you guys stay home. We'll have all the fun. We're going to have a grand opening. House warming. A bunko warming. Yeah. When was the last time you had one of them? Never. Yeah. See? I think we're warming the bunker right now. It's only right there. It's so hot, I think the paint's going to peel off. No. Don't say that. No. Paint never peels off. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to take this and move it down into there. Take the dozer and move a load of dirt in here. You got to take a big load of dirt and put it up in here so it's just underneath the windows. Under the window here. You got to put a big piece of plywood across the front door so you don't get all the dirt inside. And we'll make this build up here. And then when it's all done, I'll take the excavator. Take the bucket and just reach in there. The bucket's 42 inches wide. I just scrape it. The door is 36. So I'll center it and just pull back everything so it's level with the floor. Just a little under the level of the floor. And then we're going to put go down the quarry and get a bunch of pieces of slate. Throw them on the truck. Bring them up here and lay them out right here. So we got a walkway, place to park the quad. And when the dirt's this high, on both sides, you won't be able to see the quad when it's parked in here. I get off the quad, walk in there, sit in my seat, and wait for the unsuspecting little bambies. But we don't kill the little bambies, we want the big bucks. Later. Gonna take it. I think I'll put it up here in front of the camera. Uh, what oh, camera yeah, good idea. Yeah. Good idea. Where, where was it? Over here? It's way down there, right down the road. Oh, down there. Oh, that deer trail. What deer trail? It's a deer trail right down here. You'll see it. It's packed right down. They use it all the time. Okay. Yeah. It was laying right in there. 
and the bobcat was right, I think the bobcat or lynx, whatever, walk right through here. So I think if we throw it here on the corner, maybe you can get him. All right. On camera, you know? Put him right in that green. That you want me to take it or are you going to back up? I'm going to back up and just dump it off in that little. All right, we've finished the bunker enough. I gotta put a few gun racks in here yet. Some bow racks, but um, I got a bag of 15, 15, 15 fertilizer. And that whole area up there, and the whole area in the back here, I'm gonna fertilize. Pull this back here. And then, we're going to put down some seed. I got a bag of this stuff here called Forage Feast. Uh, three pounds, should do about a quarter of an acre. And that's good with turnips, it's got some brassica in it, it's got some clover, it's got about five different things. So, hopefully, and they say plant it around August 1st, and tomorrow, I believe, or today, 30th, two days is August 1st, so right on time. Yeah, we had to take a few trees down for the bunker construction. So now, rather than leave them lay here, like this one, we're going to drag that out of here, down by my cabin, use for firewood. knocks down other trees on top of me. There we go. Oh, go that noise. Ah. Cracking that dead piece of pine branch there. Strategically missed the quad, and we'll get it on the road over there and drag it down to the cabin. All in one piece. And there it goes. <laughs> 